Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this brand new 2025 Ram 1500 Crew Cab 5 foot 7 inch short box with the Ram box limited package. This is stock number 25T16. And I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Ram and light duty truck headquarters. And I am excited to go over this truck, mainly because this one has the high output three liter inline six turbocharged engine, and it puts out 540 horsepower and 521 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna go all, all the way around in this video on this truck, exactly going over all the new options, uh, the styling features, and just the overall looks. And you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. I uh, test drove this truck just a little bit the other day and boy, this thing really moves, especially with that 540 high output turbocharged inline six. Um, I was very impressed with the uh, pickup on this pickup. And anyways, let's go around this vehicle. You can see it does have the LED headlamps, LED running lights and LED fog lamps. Uh, they changed the design of the headlights just a little bit. Um, the bumper is a little bit different. The grill is a little bit different. Uh, than the 2024s. It's not a complete redesign, but they have made some styling cues and added some options. Obviously, the most uh, substantial thing is that they've taken the V8 Hemi out of the equation for 2025. You can either get this high output turbo or you can get a normal inline six turbo, which puts out 420 horsepower, 469 foot of foot pounds of torque, or you can still get the V6, which puts out 305 horsepower, same as the 2024. But the V8 Hemi and the 6.2 liter Hemi are no longer available for the Rams. Let's uh, take a look at the original window sticker for this vehicle, and you can take a look at all the options. It's gonna be linked in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. And uh, before we actually get into the new features, let's just take a look at the original window sticker 2025 Ram 1500 Limited. Uh, comes with that three liter I6 Hurricane HO twin turbo with stop start eight speed automatic transmission. I'm not gonna go through everything on this, but feel free to pause it. You can see it does have the 392 axle ratio, the 33 gallon fuel tank standard, all part of that limited package. And then your interior features there exterior features. Optional equipment starts at the Delmonico Red, which is 245, and the trifold tonneau cover, which is 695, and then the dual pane panoramic sunroof is 1595. Total MSRP on this truck is 79,685. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular truck in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to this vehicle on our website, also linked in the description below. Uh, warranty coverage is still the same as 2024, three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain, and your miles per gallon with this HO turbo is going to be 21 highway, 15 city, and 17 average. So about the same as the Hemi, maybe just a little bit more, but keep in mind this is the HO, and man, I, I want to do a video driving this thing, I just have not had the time, but uh, it is quick for sure. So there are the uh, safety ratings there. Like I said, this is gonna be linked in the description below, so feel free to click that. And you can see this one does have the power step bars. They really haven't changed anything on the doors or the mirrors or anything. Uh, the RAM boxes are still the same. You get the uh, button here to get inside. RAM boxes are all pretty much standard like they have been. You get the drain holes right there. So if you wanted to put ice in here, you could put ice and then make those mini coolers or whatever. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then they lock when you lock the, uh, with the key fob, they'll lock as well. Looks like the tail lamps are a little bit different than they used to be. Uh, maybe a little bit more rounded on this side or just, they just look a little bit different. The rear bumpers are different as well. You still get the chrome tip to dual rear exhaust. Towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And one of the most notable uh, updates for 2025 is the tailgate. You get the power drop down tailgate, which is nothing new. However, that tailgate goes up. It is a power up tailgate. The other thing I noticed with the Ram box, and I haven't measured it, but it looks to me that it's a bit wider 
uh, inside the bed than the old RAM boxes. I'll have to get a tape measure and measure that. Um, or maybe if you know, mention it in the comments below. But you can see it definitely is wider than the old RAM boxes. Not sure how they did that, uh, but it looks like it's wider. This one also has the tie down cleats and the uh, storage system. You get the LED bed lights here. The other cool thing about this tailgate is that you have a button right here to put it up as well. So just a little bit extra stuff on there. So that is new for 2025. Uh, these wheels, you get the Bridgestone Dueler HLs, painted and polished aluminum uh, wheels. These are 275-55R20s. Still get the rear coil suspension and the capless fuel fill. Down the rest of the side, nothing else too new on the exterior. Uh, the badges on the hood are new with the uh, high output. You're going to get the SST HO there. Still paired up with the 8-speed automatic transmission. Uh, let's take a look at the back seats real quick. Nothing too new back here. It looks like they still do recline. Uh, they changed the material in the inserts. They also added this kind of nice stitching on the leather, but they changed it they changed this material right here. It's kind of a heavy duty cloth and that's changed from the suede. I don't know if people were just upset that the suede was harder to clean or whatever. Now you still get the gray piping on there. Other than that, everything looks pretty standard. These seats still do recline, which is a nice feature. These back seats are heated and cooled. You get those buttons right there, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. You still get the RAM floor boxes right there with removable containers. So you can put ice and drinks in there. The stitching on the door and the wood grain trim is also just a little bit different uh, from past models. Child safety locks back here. And I want to show the tire and loading information sticker. People always want me to show that in the new vehicles. Up front, you get that same leather and cloth mesh seating. Factory all-weather floor mats. Looks like the floor design is a little bit different. Probably the floor mats are a little bit different as well. Power pedals, auto headlamps, that's nothing new. Tilt telescopic steering wheel, that is nothing new. Power windows, locks and mirrors. They changed the design of the switches, I see, as well as this uh, mirror control here. And the other thing I noticed with this, it's got massaging seats now um, on the Rams. So definitely an upgrade right there with those massaging seats. Love the Harman Kardon speaker covers. Uh, that's one of my favorite new options on the Rams. All right, let's check out the instrument cluster and everything on the inside of the truck. So you can see you get the big 12 inch instrument cluster. That may even be a 12.3 inch instrument cluster on there, uh, but definitely looks really good. You got a digital speedometer, outside temp, compass display, and everything is set up very nicely. It is the 12 inch TFT display. So I'm not sure if that's any different from the 2024s. I haven't been in too many 2024s. Uh, the wood grain trim on the steering wheel appears to be just a little bit different. The buttons are just slightly different, but they're all in the same spots. Get the dark chrome RAM logo on there. This is a heated steering wheel, of course. And you get the push button start, push button four wheel drive. Still has the eight speed automatic transmission, like I said, and uh, start stop capabilities. Comes with the Uconnect 5 12 inch radio. Nothing is new there and you get all the same stuff here get the factory navigation heated cooled seat buttons that's still the uconnect 5 navigation system your four corner air suspension all these buttons are the same another new thing for 2025 is you get not one but two wireless cell phone charge pads in the uh, console here which is pretty cool also new is uh, two USBs, AUGs, and two USB-Cs, and then you get a charging USB and USB-C, so I don't know if that's like a lightning charger or uh, just an extra one that you get there. And then you get the HDMI. You might be, why, what is that for? 
Well, that is for the passenger side screen, which is also a new feature for 2025. Just like the Wagoneers and the Grand Cherokees, you have this option to have this passenger side screen. So you can actually hook up an HDMI device to this thing and watch videos and stuff or play video games if you had like a PlayStation or something hooked up to it. So that's a really neat thing that's new. The center console stitching on there is new. Limited badge looks good. You get the sliding cup holders and coin tray, nothing new there. Maybe the wood grain trim's a little different. And your keyless entry, you get the um, power drop down tailgate. Now, I don't know if you can put it up with this key or not, but um, everything appears to be the same for that. So, those, those are the biggest things the uh, power up tailgate, the dual wireless charging pads. The interior is a little bit different on this limited. You get the passenger side screen, the Panoramic Vista Roof is the same as 2024 and before. All these buttons are the same. SOS Assist, Sunshade, Sunroof, Power Sign Rear Window, Power Drop Down Tailgate, um, and your Auto Dimming Mirror. It does have the Home Link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. But I did want to start up, and of course all the lights appear to be different on the front and the grill and everything and the bumpers seem to be different as well. Let's start it up and take a look at those lights and listen to how quiet this thing is. So it is started, I don't know if you can hear it, um, but it is a pretty quiet running turbo. Take a look under the hood. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you got a really good idea of the overall look, styling, and new options for the 2025 Limited. There are those new headlights. They are really bright. I do really like them. You have kind of two LED running lights on each side, in addition to those running lights. And then, of course, the headlights in the middle there and the fog lights down there. They look really good. And... Under the hood, we have the three liter inline six twin turbo HO engine. Once again, 540 horsepower, 521 foot pounds of torque. And like I said, this thing gets up and goes. And let me know if you wanted me to do a drive video with this truck, because I think it's, it's really impressive. I got in a Challenger scat pack right after I got in this truck and I kind of wanted to compare them. It's pretty comparable. Um, even though this truck is way heavier than a Challenger. Shocks on there, nothing else really too new under here. There's the emission sticker. So, do one more final walk around here with all the lights on so you can check out the front and the back. Let me know in the comments below if you like the video, anything you would change, anything you would add, have me go over that I didn't go over. Um, but otherwise, really a good looking truck and excited to get these three liter turbos into the mix. I think they're going to be a very nice addition to the Ram lineup. Love those taillights too. They look really good. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and light duty truck walk arounds on YouTube. And stay current on our ever changing and vast inventory of light duty Ram trucks so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left. A link to all the Ram 1500 truck videos I've ever done in the upper right. A link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left. And a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the newly updated 2025 Ram 1500 in Delmonico Red Proco. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a great day.